Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 16th through the 22nd. This is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising Signs. So Virgo, for this reading I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck along with the Angels of Abundance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. So at the bottom of the deck, wow, we have Death, Virgo. Very powerful major arcana. So with Death, it does represent great change, transformation. Uh, for some of you, something could be ending and creating that space for something new to come in. Or something is never going to be the same. Something is changing. Something is transforming. Very, very powerful energy. It can also represent the sign of Scorpio for some of you, so you could be dealing with the Scorpio, um, but the overall energy Virgo is actually the Queen of Pentacles, so this is very nice. You're, you're, very, you're coming up very much in your element for this week, so very grounded, practical, down to earth. Uh, I see the Queen of Pentacles as a well-rounded woman. She's very similar to the Empress. For those of you that don't work for a living, you could be very, very focused on the home or very, very focused on your children, the family. Uh, for those of you that do work for a living, you could be very focused on, on your career at the moment or if you're a business owner, on your business, on finances this week. Um, now, with death, something could be ending. Maybe some of you are leaving a job or maybe some of you are moving house um, because I definitely see travel in the cards for some of you and I see you moving towards a new beginning here. We have this Ace of Cups, which is a blessing from the heavens that's coming in for you. And then we have the Knight of Wands here. So some of you are literally moving towards something wonderful here, something that's exciting, something that's gonna make you very, very happy. For some of you, this could be your baby. This could be you giving birth to something wonderful here. Uh, and it definitely could be a new job. If it is a job, maybe it's a position uh, that you're going to fall in love with. Or if you're starting your own business, um, this could be your baby. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, travel could be in the cards for some of you, definitely. Um, but I see you enthusiastic. I see you very, very excited here about this new beginning. And now some of you, this could be happening quite suddenly. And with the Knight of Wands and then the Moon, there could be some unknowns around this. So yes, you're charging towards this new beginning. Uh, and it could be happening very quickly for some of you. Um, but maybe there's still some unknowns. Like you don't know what the future holds just yet. Um, there's still some unknowns here. But when it comes to this, with the Ace of Cups and the Moon, this combination is actually really, really wonderful because it's a lot of creative energy, but also your intuition is definitely guiding you. It's speaking to you. Listen to your intuition this week. Pay attention to your dreams. With this combination of the King of Swords and the Moon, um, if you were a Virgo that was dealing with a lot of confusion previously or some slower paced energy, things feeling up in the ear, just a lot of uncertainty around a particular matter. With the King of Swords, this could be some of you finally maybe using the sword, cutting through any confusion, any BS, getting down to the bottom of something maybe seeing something clearly and there, therefore now moving forward or the energy at least it feels like it's moving forward for some of you. With the moon and then the death card, you do have some powerful energies here, definitely. So for some of you, this king of swords, especially you male Virgos, this could be your energy, um, definitely coming through very, very grounded, practical, um, also incredibly logical Maybe finally seeing something clearly, um, could be receiving some sort of information, communication, news could be very significant this week. You could be making a decision. I always see the King of Swords as someone who's very, very decisive. So there could be some Virgos that you're making a decision and you're charging forward or you're traveling. And then for other uh, Virgos, this could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person around you that's very significant. Uh, especially for you, for you women or anybody who dates um, men, anybody who dates men, this could be a male energy that's very significant. 
Now, we also have the Hermit here. So the Hermit does represent your sign. Um, but I always see the Hermit as someone who is seeking that, that clarity, seeking those answers. And with the Moon here, I think that some of you definitely previously were seeking some sort of answers, some clarity when it comes to a particular matter with the Hermit and then the Page of Wands here. For me, the Page of Wands can represent news that you're anticipating. You know this news, this, this communication is on its way, but you don't know exactly when it's when it's coming to you. So uh, for some of you, I see you waiting with anticipation here. Um, but that news is definitely coming in for you. Some of you, it could be coming in this week, absolutely. If not this week, maybe next week, but it is coming in and it is coming in quite quickly. Um, also, with death, you know, death represents a very powerful energy. So some of you are definitely maybe in the process of, could be ending uh, something in your life, ending a chapter of your life and moving on to that next chapter with the Eight of Pentacles here for some of you, and then also that Queen of Pentacles as the overall energy. It definitely could be you ending a job. So me, maybe leaving a job, starting a new job here with the Eight of Pentacles, because I see some of you very, very focused on your work, doing a really, really good job. Just take caution with this combination. We have the Eight of Pentacles, but then I also have the Ten of Wands. So if you are landing a new job, maybe because it's a new job and maybe because you love it, I mean, this could be you working all the time, um, really just maybe devoting yourself to your work here. But don't overdo it with the Ten of Wands. This can be someone who has too much on their plate. They are just feeling overwhelmed, um, carrying this heavy load, but yet not dropping it. So I see you doing a great job. But some of you could be overdoing it or taking on too many hours, maybe working every day. So some of you maybe need to lighten your load a little bit, maybe needing to just recharge in some way if that's possible. But again, if this is a new job, maybe some of you, because it's a new job, you know, it's, it's something that you want. You want to work these extra hours here. Just be careful, though. Um... Yeah, for some of you, I, I think this is like a new adventure. So yes, it could be it could be a new job for, for some of you. But then for other Virgos, it could be a new home. You could be moving house, definitely. I feel like this is a new adventure. It's something that's exciting. It's something that's going to make you very happy. And maybe you've been working on this or working towards this for quite some time. Um, and if you're a Virgo that was waiting on news about this opportunity, about this new beginning, you know, maybe that, that whole process, it's been a little stressful. There's, there's been some fear. But again, when the energy shifts for you, it's going to shift quite quickly because we see exactly what you're charging towards, um, which is this Ace of Cups, which is this blessing that's coming in for you. So this is actually an inc incredible spread, Virgo. I think it's going to be a great week for you. Let's pull you an additional guidance card. This is the Angel of Abundance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Additional guidance for Virgo for this upcoming week. What else does Virgo need to know? All right. Okay, so we have Power of Prayer. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. This is a beautiful card. I think it resonates very much. I definitely see many of you going through some great change. Um, and the power of prayer is amazing. So if, if you like to pray, pray. Uh, if not, you can always just speak to your angels, your guides. Let them know exactly maybe what you need help with. But I definitely see many of you receiving that enlightenment, that insight. Be open to definitely that divine guidance. Uh, listen to your intuition. I feel like that energy is very, very strong around you this week. So, so definitely stay open. Um, meditate if you like to meditate. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you, uh, gives to you in response to your prayer. So answers are definitely coming in. 
Okay, Virgo, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. I wish you a wonderful week. Take care.